After months of rumors, ByteDance and Pico have finally unveiled the Pico 4 VR headset, and frankly, it bests the Oculus Quest 2 in almost every single way. Pico devices aren't well known in the West as opposed to Oculus Quest devices, but the brand is expanding into this market after many years of thriving across Asia. In early 2022, the company's Neo 3 Link headset launched in Europe, and there were rumblings that a budget-friendly Pico headset to rival Meta's Oculus Quest 2 was on the way. What's more, this device was expected to adopt features exclusive to Meta's premium project Cambria headset the Quest 2 successor. Now with the Pico 4 VR headset officially unveiled depends in new tab, it's clear that the rumors were true. This is the Quest 2 rival we've been waiting for. The first next-gen VR headset. In many ways, the Quest 2 and Pico 4 are very similar devices. Both headsets are standalone, meaning you don't need a PC or external device to run them, and both offer inside-out tracking for 6 do FVR also known as full VR experiences. Just slip either device on, and you can wander around and interact with a VR space as if it were real. Minimal setup is required. What's more, each headset comes with two storage options in 128GB or 256GB. Both even use identical Qualcomm Snapdragon 202 CPUs and offer controller-free experiences. But that's about it as far as similarities go since the Pico 4 headset pulls ahead of the competition in almost every other regard. The new Pico 4 offers 8GB RAM to the Quest 2 6GB. It uses a higher resolution display that gives users 2160x2160 pixels pry instead of just 1832-1920 pixels pry. And it uses a larger 5,300 mAh battery compared to Quest 2's 3,640 mA. Despite these upgrades, because of the Pico 4's pancake lenses, a slimmer form of optics being used by next-generation VR headsets, the headset is only marginally heavier than the Quest 2 at 586 grams compared to 503 grams. You might not even notice that extra weight since the Pico 4 places its battery at the back of your head the opposite side to its display as opposed to Quest 2's front-loaded design. Last but not least, the Pico 4 will include a 16MP RGB camera that facilitates full-color pass-through. This means it can record a full-color video of the real world around you, whereas the Oculus Quest 2 can only show you the real world in grayscale. Full-color pass-through is said to be a major feature on the Quest 2's premium successor project Cambria as it will allow developers to create more realistic and engaging our experiences. Oh, and to top it all off, the Pico 4 headset will only cost you £379 for its 128GB version and £449 for the 256GB version. That's £20 and £50 cheaper than the equivalent Oculus Quest 2 models respectively following the Quest's upsetting price hike back in July. Pre-orders for the new headset are available now for people in Europe Neo 3 Link beta program and will be open to the general public in the UK, Europe, and Asia at some point in October. Meta seemed like an unstoppable force in the VR space thanks to its hugely popular Oculus Quest 2 headset. But thanks to the headset's increasingly outdated hardware in combination with its recent price hike, the Quest 2's place at the top feels shakier than ever. Given how impressive the Pico 4 seems, ByteDance's own Pico could soon be taking the VR headset crown for itself.